Hey guys, and welcome back to Tormented Souls. When we last left off, we defeated that big thing uh, in the operating room. Yes, yes, I remember. And we got the scalpel, which we could use in the basement somewhere. Now, uh, one slight little tiny problem. Uh, I can't remember. My way around. So the basement west, basement west, boiler room A, morgue. Now where was it? There was a little way down somewhere, wasn't there? That was locked. Uh, if I could just remember where exactly that was. It doesn't appear to be marked on the map either. Um, that's a locked door. I want to go through these locked doors. I'm guessing we still need something. Uh, we can go downstairs. Maybe it's worth having a little look downstairs. Maybe. Yeah, um, it's been a little while since I've played, which is problematic because everywhere in this game looks the same. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go downstairs and see if we can find ourselves where we need to be. We need. I know there was... Oh, yes, the music here. Oh, it's that music. It's that little... It's the piano. The piano here is fantastic. Okay. Now, one thing I will say about this game is the environments are very cluttered. Very cluttered. Which is slightly problematic. So, what is this A here? Is that where we needed to go? It might be. Let's have a little look, shall we? I'm guessing there's going to be like enemies everywhere again. Ah. Right, yeah. Oh, it was here. Wonderful. All right. <laughs> I was slightly concerned. It is on the map. It just doesn't highlight it as a hatch going down. It just calls itself A. So this brings us into the boiler room. And apparently... Oh, nice. Say, so apparently, there are beasties down here. We've got some shells. Good. And somebody was living here in the boiler room. Oh. Oh. Where's our gun? Well, we can't aim at it. Oh, hello. A fridge. Doesn't seem to be operational. There's a lot of stuff to explore as well. Or to fiddle with, but a lot of it doesn't do anything. Nothing useful, that's unfortunate. I'd like to bring this beast. Yes, there we go. Come on, come on, you little fucker. Come to my little den of death for you. Ow. Right. We're on caution. Which isn't exactly brilliant. Hey, we're a killer, apparently. <clears throat> we are a killer. So we know these little creature things that are walking around, having a bit of a wander downstairs. Um, or around this mansion-y hospital place 
they're not like figments of our imagination as far as I can tell. They are actually beasties that are being created, I guess. By our friends. Ooh. Well, that's fine. Nothing creepy about that at all. More candles, which is nice. Hey, is a medical thing. Uh, cool. We'll take the first aid kit. Definitely feel like we probably could use a first aid kit. Uh, I think it's very easy to miss stuff as well. I do miss that Resident Evil kind of shimmering that items have. I mean, it was there for a reason, you know? Did it break the immersion? I mean, maybe, but... I think the trade-off was worth it. We've got some breakers here, but they don't seem to be operational. Oh. I have no idea what's actually chasing us now. Be nice to see what's chasing us. This is problematic because it could be anything. There's candles over there. Oh, hello. Hey, friend. Right, I don't think we've actually been hit yet. Which is nice. Ow, now we've been hit. Ow. Right. We're feeling a little bit worse for wear. Let's eat that. Come on. Ow, that hurts. Probably. <laughs> the way they die is quite funny. Okay. Uh, I don't mind those enemies either. They're, they're kind of interesting. This game is... I, I mean, the enemies as a whole are kind of generic. We know they're some sort of weird zombie things that have been created. Who put these bodies here? Uh, oh, hello. William Wildberger's Diary. So, January... Uh, 2nd of January, 1970. Maria has lost another child. This is the third... I do not know how I'm supposed to find the strength not to falter, but I must be strong for both of us. Maria's condition worsens by the day. Her body may be damaged, but it is her mind that worries me most. She says not a word, and her eyes have stopped reacting when exposed to white, uh, light. Interesting, yeah, because she was um, blasted by that, that radiation, wasn't she? She lo no longer recognises me and starts and startles when I try to draw close. Oftentimes, she is so disorientated that she screams and breaks everything in her path. I can stop her only with an injection. I know that Maria, my Maria, is somewhere inside that damaged body. So, is he still, you know, having fun, happy time with her if she's lost another child? 4th of January. She worsens. Today I witnessed an awful sight as I entered her room. She stood in a pool of blood, lashing her own back with a whip. Oof. I grabbed her by the wrists. She fought back while screaming at the top of her lungs. I called a paramedic to help me sedate her and put stitches across her entire back. How could she do this to herself? What goes on inside her head? At least tonight she will sleep soundly. 5th of January. By God, what have I done? Maria, will you ever forgive me? What did you do? What did you do to poor old Maria? Yeah, who put these bodies here? I'm guessing Daddy put those bodies there. Oh. 
Ooh. So we're now in the basement west. Probably open that up. We need some items though. We really need to find something new. There's also something making an awful lot of noise down here. Oh. Well, it's not that thing. Oh. Oh. Uh, bye, dude. I guess he's just being sucked into the floor. That's cool. Ooh. What an awful place to die. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's not exactly the Ritz, is it? So we can't go that way. Well, that's an interesting camera angle. Which didn't help us that much. Clip of nails, nice. We could use those for sure. We've got barrels here. I don't know if these barrels are explosive. I'm going to say that they're probably not. There's something back here, isn't there? You can go get an eye exam, I guess. Hello. You there, father? No, but we found the toilets. Ooh. A small metal dial. There are symbols around the edge. Okay. Right. So we can combine that with something. We can't fiddle with it. Uh, I guess we'll take the morphine. I mean, there's no point leaving it for the roaches. And we will use it, I'm sure, before the day is out. Um, right. Make sure everything's topped up. I mean, I say everything. We only have two weapons. Oh, hello. A body was hidden inside. Yeah. All right. I mean, that was a pretty bloody obvious jump event. Let's not, you know, kid ourselves here. Now, anything... Ah. You know what that candle means? Probably means enemies. Have we actually missed any more... Oh. Oh. Haven't been in here, have we? Oh, there's a big hole on the floor. It's a little bit awkward. Right, okay. So, there actually isn't anything there. My God, how do you not get lost here? This is a maze. I'm guessing that nugget right on the left there. Is where we have discovered whatever the hell it is that we just found. Now, this is going to lead to the main hall. Yeah, okay. So, we've just found something to the main hall. I would love to be able to jump back from these guys. But it doesn't really seem overly possible. Especially when you're in the dark. Oh yeah, we still got that acid as well, haven't we? Alright, let's eat some of that. Yeah, piss off you. So, which one of you is mummy? Hmm. 
And there's another one up here. Somewhere. Kind of want to call it out towards us. Dude. Dude. Come to mummy. There we go. Here he comes. Here he comes. You would have thought that she'd move a little bit quicker. You know, just saying. There we go. Oh, that fucking blood attack. That's what I mean. You just... It seems like nothing you can do to avoid taking a hit. I mean, it doesn't appear to do a huge amount of damage. But it does enough, you know. Right. So we've still got the scalpel. Which is cool. I do wonder if we... Oh, oh nice. Yes. We're just going to have to have quite a heavy reli ooh, reliance on health items, I think. Medical report of hospital patient. Winter Lake Hospital. 0606 1916. Dr. Rick uh, Peltier. Hmm. Uh, one of her two twin babies, Miriam uh, Rossetti, in the process of delivering, gives birth Hang on, one of her, this is so weirdly written, of her two twin babies, uh, Miriam Morsetti, in the process of delivering, uh, delivery, gives birth to her first baby, Noah. But unfortunately, the other twin, uh, Methuselah, uh, passes away as soon as the umbilical cord was cut. At the moment, the cause of his untimely death are unknown. We hope the autopsy will give us some answers. Alright. Do I have to remember all these people's names? I always find that's uh, a bit of an issue for me. I really suck at remembering names in the best of times. I can remember faces, you know. Oh, too dangerous to step into this water. Yeah, I can remember names fine. Uh, faces fine, but names, yeah. But, oh, shit. Have we got to go turn the power off? Door unlocked. That's the door to the morgue, isn't it? Or is it? No, this is the door to the main hall. Ah, oh, the bloody music down here. Oh, hello. Right, so we need a few items. Can we, like, combine? Nope. Can we... Cannot be combined. So what is this? No idea. No idea yet, anyway. Okay. Oh! Oh, nice! Ah, this is the blocked area. I like the way it's blocked, but it's literally blocked by, you know, two wet floor signs. You could just, like, move those out of the way. I'm just saying. Okay. Just saying. So, I'm guessing... What we need to do now... Is... The boiler room. Uh, let's go see if we can talk to... Um, Father PD file. Go see if he's got any pearls of wisdom for us. As if he's still in the same place. I don't know if he teleports. So, like, if we go to any of the areas that we've seen him in before, he's always going to be there. Or if he's just, you know, once he's moved on to another room, he's always in that other room. 
Not sure. We're back up to a decent amount of nails, at least. And where was he? He was... Ah, right, yeah. We use this on that somehow. Nothing happens. Uh, okay. Really would like... Yeah, where was he? I really would like um, some kind of information on those doors. I mean, I guess we're probably going to get it later, I suppose. Hey, he's still here. That's an interesting knife you found. I don't know, Father. What really matters is that I couldn't find the girls. I'm afraid I've lost their trace. Not entirely. If my sight doesn't fail me... That knife belonged to the founders of this hospital. Um, okay. Their use inside the operating room was forbidden long ago, but I've heard that they are still used for autopsies. In the morgue, you might find a clue that could lead you to the girls. Oh, have we not been into the morgue yet? I don't yet? really want to go to the morgue right now, but if there's a slight chance of finding anything in there, I'll go. I have heard rumors of dark experiments carried out in the morgue. Be careful. Yay! Thank you, Father. Thanks, Father PD. Right, let's go. And check out the morgue. I thought we went to the morgue. No, maybe the morgue was locked, actually. It's been so long since I've played, I can't actually remember. But we've cleared the path. Actually, there is one thing I want to do. We go to files. Uh, maintenance log. Maria's diary. If we examine that, yeah. So we've missed. We've we've missed A and we've missed C and we've missed D and we've missed F. I guess unless we just haven't had the you know chance to find them yet. Because William's diary. One, two, three, four, and five. And Anna's diary. We've only found two on Anna's diary. Uh, I probably will have to use a guide to find all of the diaries. Anyway. I guess this party wagon's into the morgue. I really would like <laughs> a fucking torch that I can pin to my jacket or something. Because, you know, walking around with this lighter is actually really irritating uh, it doesn't build tension because I don't find games scary you know I've, I'm either gonna get killed by the monsters trying to get past them or I'm not you know uh, and this whole walking into darkness kills you I'm hoping they're gonna explain that in a way that makes sense because as it stands it doesn't make sense so you know just my thoughts so far. It's shut tight, so we haven't opened that one. That one we can't go down, so it's got to be this one here. Okay. So, basement west. So, we've come in here. So, we need to go straight down the hallway, I guess. Right, I just check every... Oh! Do we have to relight candles? Don't actually know. Okay. Maybe I just missed that candle. Definitely. Oh, right. The morgue. Ah. Yes. But we can't. We're going to have to turn the power off, aren't we? It's literally the only thing I can think of. So we're going to have to go... Okay, so we are going to have to go back into the generator room. Uh, okay, cool. Kind of looking forward to this morgue. I'm guessing we're going to have some kind of boss fight in there or something. Or there's going to be some kind of big, ugly, nasty motherfucker. I mean, here's hoping, right? 
Uh, it feels like it's been for. Oh, wasn't there something we could do with this? It's out of order. No. There was there was a vending machine, wasn't there, that we could fondle? I'm sure there was. Right. I think that was the way down. Yeah. So let's go see if any enemies have uh, turned up. Mm, can't hear anything. Yeah, so this was the Jenny room. Okay. Now, I'm going to go on a limb and say they're probably going to infest this place. Uh, with enemies as soon as we turn this bloody light off. I can just, I can sense it in my bones. We've gone the wrong way. Ah, was, was the father down here? No. Well, not down there anyway. Yeah, after eating his uh, bowls of soup that are full of, uh, you know, metal. I mean, that's pretty hardcore. Let's, you know, let's not take anything away from the gentleman, but see if we can find anything along the way. I do like the way Pedophile does uh, tell us where we need to go. That's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, we've already been through there. Gas mask. It's kind of strange, like, gas masks on these dudes. I'm not really sure what that's symbolizing. Now, can we even turn the... Oh, I guess we can turn it off, actually. We can turn it off. Oh, boy. Now. Yeah, we don't have to go through the... X-ray room. Okay. So the morgue isn't a million miles away. Which is nice. Pull out some ammo there on that pallet then. And we're in the bloody X-ray room. Didn't want to be in the X-ray room. And the doctor, or should I say, our friend Arino, Mr. Priest, he's not actually here. So, no, I guess once he moves to a location, he moves. All right, that's fine. And at least this place is actually, you know, well lit. Doesn't look like we've missed anything in here, though. All right, cool. Okay, is there a tape? No, there isn't a tape in here, is there? How many tapes do we have to... Mm, not a huge amount, considering idealistically we want to be looking at saving the game. Oh, there's candles everywhere. At least here, anyway. I mean, that's nice. I like the way this corpse is here as well. It kind of, uh, you know, shows us the way, if you will. Now, this is going to be the interesting place. Because is this going to be refilled with enemies? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out together. But, before we do that... Uh, I feel like I might be wasting a save tape here. Well, we won't save it. I mean, I haven't done a, you know, a huge amount of progress. I thought we got an achievement then. I was about to get all excited, like. So what was that room? Oh, that was the dentist room, wasn't it? It's locked. Oh, right. All these bloody doors are going to be locked now, aren't they? Well, that's great. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to call it here, guys, because we're on half an hour. 
I really don't want to. I want to go to the morgue, man. I want to go have a look, see what's down there. God damn it. Well, actually, to be fair, for me, it's not an issue. But for you guys, you're going to have to wait till next time. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.